Hi y'all. Well, Isabella and I thought we would share with you how to do a um, dry sourdough starter. And um, first of all, let's say you don't have to be intimidated by sourdough. I know it seems intimidating, but we're going to show you it's really rather simple. Once you get it started, it's really easy and there's no discard in this one. So you don't have to babysit it. It's not a live thing on your counter uh, where you have to babysit it all the time um, like many of them. This one you can put in the fridge and pull it out when you need it. So let's get going. You want to start with, with your bowl in your your um, scale here and then put your bowl on and don't forget you need to you need to um, zero out your scale which just you just need to push that little button so it's not measuring the scale, the uh, bowl. And now we're going to put in um, day one, you're going to put in 60 grams of flour. Make sure you're, I don't know if y'all can see this, it's in grams and not ounces. And you're going to do 60. No too much. Let's take a break. 45 grams of water. So zero that out. And we're going to do 45 grams of warm water. And on your water, you don't you don't want any chlorinated water. You want to make sure that it's um, that it's um, filtered. Yes, filtered water, and you want it warm. Okay, and you're just going to mix that up. If if you if all you have is tap water, just um, let it sit out overnight with no lid on it and, it and it'll dissipate, the chlorine will dissipate out of it. But it's best just to get you a little bottle of um, filtered water. Okay, so got this all mixed up. And now Isabella's going to introduce herself to it. I'm going to play Hi. with it a little. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> So she's just, she's just um, introducing herself here. And you're just going to put it right back in that bowl. Cover it with some plastic wrap and, or tea towel, whatever y'all want to do. And you're going to let it sit for, um, you just don't want it drying out. That's why we do, we like to do plastic wrap this first day. And we're just going to let it sit at room temperature for 48 hours. Okay, so we're on day two of our sourdough starter. And on day two, you'll be doing nothing uh, because he needs to sit for 48 hours. So here's ours. He's still sitting here. He's doing well. We're just gonna leave him alone for an, uh, another 24 hours. And then we'll revisit him. Okay, it is day three of our sourdough starter, and we're going to show you how and what you need to do on day three. All right, so we got a little sourdough here. Turn our scale on. Make sure it's on grams. We're going to add 30 grams of water. Yep. And if you do like me and go a little over, you can watch it. I got a little carried away, didn't I? We're excited. <laughs> okay. 30 grams of water. Now we're going to add our 60 grams of flour. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. 
stir here. I'll take it off that scale. This is, you're just feeding him. That's what we're doing here. We're feeding our sourdough. And he was very friendly. He likes to have your hands in there, so you can do that. It's okay. Introduce this here. This is so simple once you get this done. I know the first seven days is like having a pet. But then after that, it's, it's really quite simple. in there pretty good. Okay, that's it. Okay, we're going to cover him right back up and sit him back on our counter. And we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Today we are in day four of the sourdough starter. Okay. Our little guy is looking lively. Four is essentially uh, like day three. You're going to do 30 grams of your water. And then you're going to do 60 grams of your flour. Just mix this all in, just like we've been doing. You see, he's growing like crazy. <clears throat> and again, at this point, you can reach in there and Get it mixed in with your hands. It's a little stickier. It's not real dry. I'm just gonna put him back in there. We're gonna cover him up again. And we're going to um, <clears throat> Him sit here on the counter for another 24 hours and we'll see you on day five okay we're on day five and we're going to show you what to do you're going to take your sourdough starter and you're going to take out 10 10 grams our 10 grams it's Kind of think maybe a teaspoon. There we go. There's our 10 grams. Refreshing your starter. And this is uh, important because you're going to be doing this um, relatively throughout when you're ready to use your starter. So we got our 10 grams of um, sourdough starter. We're going to add in. 30 grams of our water. And then we're going to add in our flour, which is going to be 60 grams. Okay, 
We will mix that all up. Let me get off the thing. get it incorporated a little easier that way. <clears throat> Whatever your preference. Um, incorporate. He's not real, real flowery. He's kind of feeling a little tacky. He's a little doughy. And at this point, you're going to want to take your starter and put it in either a glass um, dish with a lid or you can put it in a mason jar. You can do that. And we're just gonna let him sit out for about um, six to 10 hours. You should start seeing some, some action, some bubbles, some, um, some bubbles in there, some something, you know, he should be rising, that sort of thing. Now, if he's not in the six to 10 hours, if he doesn't do that, um, that's okay. You haven't failed. <laughs> um, but you, what you want to do is um, you want to repeat this process again on day six. So we're going to leave him out on the counter for about six to ten hours and we're going to give him a little peek. So we'll be back um, and we'll do that and see where we're at in six to ten hours. And this other um, leftover that you see here normally you do have a discard when you're doing a traditional sourdough starter on your countertop and um, what we like to do with this is we usually feed it to our chickens because um, they absolutely love it or if you'd want with this leftover uh, stuff you can make several batches of sourdough so you could put it in another container and then you could give them off to your friends or family members that maybe they've been wanting to start a sourdough starter, but they've been a little intimidated because I know it can be intimidating, but I'm here to show you how easy it is. So hopefully that takes some of that intimidation away. But if you want, you could do that as well. Just do the 10 grams, just repeat the process, just do it in a different container. Okay, so it has been about 10 hours and um, I'm gonna have Isabella show you here, our little guy does not look quite like I want him to. Okay, so we're gonna take 10 grams. <laughs> of course now it's too much. Okay. And then we're going to take our 30 grams of water. And then we're going to add in our 60 grams of flour. Okay. I'm going to give that a nice little stir here. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> so, put that right back in the dish. the lid on him. Okay, 
So we have our sourdough starter here. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah. <laughs> you see the bubbles on him? He's got some bubbling here. And um, this is how you want him to look. Nice and bubbly. He's risen up a little bit there. So whenever you need him, or you want to use him in a recipe, you're going to take out 30 grams of your sourdough starter and you're going to add to it 130 grams of warm water and 120 grams of your flour. Or mix that all up. You're going to cover it and let it sit on the counter or a warm place um, for about two hours and then you can um, make your recipe. Uh, another really easy thing, if you know you're going to use this in the morning, if you're going to do some bacon or uh, maybe you want to do some pancakes, that's one of our favorites, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, go ahead and do it the night before. It won't hurt. It'll be okay. You just have to let him sit for about two hours just to get his little self to work in. He needs to be eating uh, the flour and whatever. You got to get, get him back active. And then when you're all finished, so this little guy is going to go in the fridge and every time we need sourdough starter, we're just going to scoop out about a tablespoon is about 30 grams. Make sure you're using your scale and then add to it 130 grams of water, 120 grams of flour and let him sit until he gets a little active. He needs to get woke back up because once he's in the refrigerator, he's going to be dormant. And so you want to wake him back up by allowing him to sit on the counter for a little bit. But don't forget, you also have to refresh this little guy. Um, once you're down, uh, leave yourself about a tablespoon. That's a good rule of thumb as far as um, when you want to put some more back in here so you don't run out. You want a tablespoon. So every time you, you just keep pulling from him, pulling from him, every um, time you want to bake, uh, he can sit in the fridge. I've goodness i think i've let him sit for like six weeks and never used him brought him out and he was still alive so um you just take out your little tablespoon like i said refresh him get him activated again on the countertop and then just put this guy back in the fridge don't do anything with him just put him back in the fridge and then when you get down to about a tablespoon left of him that's when you want to refresh him so you'll do day five all over again uh which is your uh Sorry, you'll do 30 grams of water and 60 grams of flour and mix it all up and just pop him back in the fridge. You don't have to let him sit. You don't have to do anything. Put him right back in the fridge and then he's good to go again. And you can just keep doing that over and over and over and you'll have plenty of sourdough for all your bacon needs and you won't have to rely on yeast. Our, our um, goal is to be less reliant on the grocery store. That's what we're trying to do. So, I hope that helps. I hope that takes a little bit of the, you know, the crazy out of a sourdough for you. Um, I hope that really inspires you to try again if it didn't work the first time. And um, just have fun with it. It's, it's not really an exact science. You do need to use that scale um, just to get him going. Once he's going, he's pretty... He's usually pretty happy. Yeah. So, I hope this helps you all, and I hope you enjoy. And um, as always, we love spending time with y'all, and we're trying to make life a little easier and a lot more fun. So, keep it simple. And fun. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these fun videos.